Hatley Castle, at one point home to the wealthiest man in British Columbia, James Dunsmere, who was Premier of British Columbia from 1900 to 1902 and Lieutenant Governor of British Columbia from 1906 to 1909. He made Hatley Castle a dream estate for his wife and 12 children. Today I will be telling you the story of James Dunsmere and his extreme influence over British Columbia. This is a collaboration project though, so I encourage you to watch the story of the people who worked to maintain the house, told by Christia Dupont, who is known as Professor Peaches on YouTube and Instagram. Hi, I'm in front of Hatley Castle, which is famously owned by the Dunsmere family. But I just want to acknowledge that we're actually on unceded land that was originally owned by the Esquimalt and the Kwangan people. Hatley Castle is a physical remnant of a bygone era, a sign of the high society life that filled Victoria, primarily in the Victorian era. James Dunsmere's wealth came largely from his family. Robert Dunsmere's will left the Esquimalt and Nanaimo Railway and the San Francisco operation to Alexander Dunsmere, and James inherited all the coal mining and shipping interests. When Alexander died in the 1900s, James inherited the entirety of the Dunsmere's interests. Despite being born into a prominent family and involving himself with politics, James Dunsmere preferred to stay out of the spotlight. Dunsmere's views sometimes caused displeasure because he followed his own interest. Laura Dunsmere, however, enjoyed the social aspect of her position in society. She met up for her husband's behavior by being a great hostess. After a life in politics and retiring from his lieutenant governor position, James Dunsmere was eager to get out of public life. So he dreamed of Hatley Castle with the gardens like you see here. In 1908, James Dunsmere and his family went to Scotland, visiting the North Sea ports. Dunsmere returned to British Columbia as what some called a new man. That was when he purchased Hatley Park. He planned to lay out a model estate. James Dunsmere imagined himself the lord of a manor, almost the center of a self-contained village. He wanted a place for Laura to keep her white orchids, and he wanted a place for him to hunt. So this is what you see here. Hatley Castle was built in the Tudor Revival style, which was popular in the Edwardian period. Hatley Castle was also remarked on by many visitors and even the architect that it had an old appearance. Hatley Castle, complete with the central Norman Tower and elegant terraces, was finished in just 18 months. In May 1910, the Dunsmere family moved in. Hatley Castle was home to the Dunsmeres until James Dunsmere's death in 1920, and Laura resided in the house until her death in 1937. After Laura Dunsmere's death, none of her children could afford the $1,500 monthly upkeep to keep the castle. So eventually the Canadian government bought the estate and turned it into the Royal Roads Military College. After the castle was auctioned off in 1939, some of the items auctioned off were destined to return to Hatley Castle. While many are on display in the Dunsmere's room in the castle's museum, others are back in their original place in the Grand Home. 